As our city grapples with how to put a stop to escalating gun violence we've been seeing so far this year, the Ford government right here at Queen's Park is slashing half a million dollars in funding to an after-school music program designed to help at-risk youth. Well, tonight, uh, the mother of three little girls who were hit by bullets while frolicking in a Scarborough playground just a few months ago is expressing her outrage over this move. It was back in June when the unthinkable happened. Stacy's two daughters, ages five and nine, were shot while playing in their neighborhood parkette in North Scarborough. Her third daughter, seven years old, was grazed by a bullet. Luckily, all three survived. That's just one of the 279 shootings in Toronto so far this year, resulting in 33 deaths. That already far surpasses all of last year. Now, Stacy says the governments are not listening to the real issues, and this program cut is just one example. When the kids have something to do, they stay out of trouble. When they don't have anything to do, they're into more trouble. And then the other members or gang members or bad people come and bother them, and then they get in trouble with them, and then they get, you know, they, the music program has role models. It gives them ambition. It gives them goals to achieve in life. It gives them another thing, but... As I said, the mayor and Doug Ford and all the other people that are cutting the programs, they're not even doing it properly. They're not even going down to the root of the problem when looking at it. They never grew up in poverty. They don't know what it's like. We are a team. We try our best. We work together and we have fun. The program called System of Toronto currently works with 275 children ages 6 to 12 in the neighborhoods of Parkdale, Jane and Finch, and East Scarborough. A majority of the kids are from new immigrant families or are part of the foster care system and many have parents and guardians who work long hours. In a statement, the Ontario government tells us the $500,000 in funding was hastily promised by the Liberals and did not match the proper criteria. The program's director says despite this hurdle, the show will go on. So we're going to um, move ahead with the program. Everybody who's currently in our program, including the 50 new kids that are starting with us in September uh, next week, are, are in. We made a commitment, and uh, we think that keeping promises is a part of good leadership. So we're, we're going to make it work. It might mean bigger class sizes. It might mean running on fewer resources. And the communities are rallying behind this music program. So far, over $15,000 in donations have been collected.